Wix Portfolio 2023 step-by-step -step tutorial, how to create a free portfolio. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about Wix and how you can create a digital portfolio on it in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So I'm gonna be walking you through the whole setup and login process, and I'm gonna be walking it all in great depth and detail. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to gain all the details that you can about Wix. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, to start things off, what you are gonna do is you're going to come over to www.wix.com and uh, once you do that basically what you're going to do from here is you're going to go on get started because over here you can see what kind of website would you like to create in our case you know we're going to create a portfolio you can click on get started over here but we're going to click get started from here now once you go over here it asks for your email so we're just going to go ahead and uh, enter our email in the email tab I'm going to paste it here and then you're just going to enter your email over here as well. And once you've entered your email, what you're going to do from here is you're going to go ahead straight into the password section. So once you obviously go into the password section, wait a second, why is it giving an issue? So make sure that uh, your email doesn't have any spelling typos or details. And once you do that, go ahead log in with a strong password and once you've logged in with a strong password re-enter the password the same way and once you do that pretty much you're going to go ahead and sign up and once everything is set to go it's going to ask you a few questions and the few question it asks you and they're going to be needed to add it pretty accurately so who are you creating a website for it could be for myself for a client etc i'm going to go with for myself and click on continue now once you click on continue from here on out what you are going to want to do is it says what type of website do you want to actually create you know so we could create uh, you know a business website or any other type of website you know which could make more sense to us uh but in our case we're going to go with a portfolio website and uh, you know you could call it a digital portfolio digital art portfolio digital media portfolio whatever kind of portfolio you want to go with it all just depends on the type of uh, scheming you want to go. I'm going to go with digital portfolio for now. And once we go with digital portfolio, it starts saying preparing your dashboard. Now, basically, when it says preparing your dashboard, it's going to bring you here to the whole uh, dashboard interface and starting. And from there is where the magic starts. There is where we're going to start doing all the fun stuff. So you can get your website up and running really simply from there. And then obviously moving on, you're going to type in your business number as well, as well as your first portfolio project with different project details. Uh, I'm going to skip all these uh, all these things right now, and I'm going to ask it to take me straight into the dashboard. You can obviously add different project details and project titles to, you know, set up your business, but I'm going to skip all of that. And uh, I'm going to create a sample of, you know, your work uh, just over here. Now, basically over here, what you need to do is uh, as it's a portfolio you're gonna add some certain templates for yourself or some certain themes okay and these themes could be you know different things like um, essential portfolio things so I'm gonna come here on design site and once you come on to design site what you're gonna want to do from here is you're gonna enter all the necessary details when it comes to designing a website for yourself okay so here it says review and edit your info so first of all comes the logo so i'm going to go ahead and uh, add a certain logo for myself so as we scroll down there we go so there's my logo i'm just going to go ahead and add that now once you have added a logo for yourself from there what you're going to want to do is enter your business name uh, i'm going to go with the uh, john's goods just call it that for now then you're going to enter your email for your business obviously i have mine over here so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, add it there we go you're gonna enter your address i'm just gonna enter my address over here and then you can add your socials link as well i'm gonna skip that and click on next then you're gonna pick a theme you like for your portfolio and there's minimal thread basil fresh i'm gonna go with minimal because i would like to creep it that way I'm, i'd like to keep my portfolio minimal preparing your home page designs 
and uh, they start obviously personalizing it for you they start creating it as you want so here it is pick your favorite homepage design obviously all of these are extremely minimal designs and uh, you can choose from all three of these now once you're choosing a uh, design for yourself you are going to want to keep in mind that these designs cannot be changed later like you can change the layout of them and you can change the uh, logic of them but you can't change the way they move the way they look the way they are the, the basic things you can't change them okay so to do this all you're gonna do is you're gonna go with a design I'm gonna go with uh, this one you know this one looks pretty good so I'm gonna click on next now once you've picked your favorite homepage design uh, it brings you to add pages to your site. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go with about page because obviously you can also add a contact page to be honest, because it's a portfolio website, you know, people could potentially want to contact you for the work you did. So, you know, that is exact kind of what a portfolio website, you know, represents. So, uh, you're going to go with all of this. And, uh, once you have gone with these simple things for yourself, from there on out, what you are going to want to do is it just wait it out so it loads things in for you. And once things are loaded in, from there you can see, congratulations, your site is set up and running. So you can obviously uh, go back into the dashboard or go into the editor. I'm going to go into the editor so, you know, I could get into the you could say detailed editings and detailed features. And obviously over here, you can add different elements into your site, including pictures, different types of textiles, uh, and the different widgets that go with adding into portfolios. And if you go into the Wix app markets, you can go up here and you could just go ahead and write portfolio. And here you can see, showcase your work in a beautiful portfolio. You can add this application and these portfolio things. But obviously, as you can see, mine is already here and you can showcase your beautiful work in this. So there you can see since beginning my journey in this field, it basically creates a custom website for us with great looking things, including our email and things. Uh, and uh, you can obviously see the different pages. So there's the about page and in the about page, you know, there's things about you that constitute who you are, what kind of work you do and all. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family and uh, i hope you all have a great day so until next time i'll see you later and goodbye